Hello guys and girls, welcome to this week's edition of Watching Giant De Deer Antlers Grow. Or as somebody uh, suggested in a comment, Watching Giant Deer Antlers Go. <laughs> we'll see if we've got any bucks around this week that's got any, uh, any antlers left on it. We've also got some snow forecast this week, so we might be able to show you bucks in the snow. I sure hope so, even though they might be bald-headed bucks in the snow. Uh, we might also take a look at some of the sheds that I've found. Uh, we've got six or seven or eight. And uh, uh, had to take Manelli to the veterinarian. I thought she had parvo. We did a parvo test, negative, negative. She got real listless and lifeless. And, but she fell off of the ramp at uh, Sherry and Jack's house uh, Sunday after church. When we come home from church, she fell off of the ramp. And it's only a couple, two or three foot fall, but she's just a little bitty puppy. And uh, she fell backwards and I think might have hit her head. And, and uh, she's limping. It might have been Bella might have got Bella might have got a hold of her too. Bella's an awful big chocolate lab, and Bella might have got onto her and uh, and and hurt her a little bit. I don't know, but uh, but uh, uh, Cade, my veterinarian, uh, carried her in and did the uh, parvo test as negative, which I was really glad because you don't save many of them from uh, parvo. Normally, you spend a few thousand dollars and uh, your dog still dies. Most people, or a lot of people, I won't say most, but a lot of people won't even bother to try to medicate for parvo, parvo because it's uh, usually a lost cause. And usually, it's pretty expensive also. But uh, she does not have parvo. He gave her some medicine, and, uh, and just in uh, the last three or four hours is uh, that she's taking that medicine. When I left the house a few minutes ago, I didn't bring her up here to the pens with me because she'll just go crazy with me and the pens are on the outside and, and I'll be trying to get in, scaring the deer and everything. But... Uh, but, but anyway, the, uh, she's feeling a lot better. She's perked up a lot. Uh, Kate told me within 48 hours I'd have a new dog. And she's already perked up and uh, uh, got uh, running around having a better time. So it's going to be good. So we were really concerned. I thought we might lose her. But we're going to look at hopefully some antlers in the snow if that snow gets here. But we're going to look at some antlers and antler less and see what we've got. And, uh, we've got a couple deer running around that could be Milburn and Ranger, Milburn and Ranger, uh, one of them. Uh, uh, had antlers the last time I looked at it, the other one didn't. Uh, we're seeing a few deer on the ranch with antlers still, but not many, not many. They're pretty much all gone. Uh, I'm going to go uh, take a look in the, the pen uh, before this video is over and let's look at uh, Whitey, see how he's looking this week, and Forrest, and uh, also see if they've lost their antlers. I know once we'll, they do, we'll be able to find those sheds pretty doggone easy. So let's get started uh, looking at some of the bucks in the yard with this week's edition of Watching Giant Deer antlers grow. Go. <laughs> it's barely daylight and it's sprinkling just a bit. The ground is. Uh, come here, Vanelli. Don't you go out there. And we have an extra buck this morning and he's got antlers. I don't know which is which there, but one of those two. Is fat boy. The other one is is a buck that is, I don't want to talk about in the background there. I know it's not real clear because there's just not much light out here. I don't know if that is fat boy. I think that is probably fat boy. And the other buck walking away there. Oh, there might be a three bucks out there with antlers. deer at the feeder are the close ones up here. There's three more out there. I think there's two additional bucks. That's a nice buck. And I think that's a nice buck. And that's a nice buck. That might be fat boy right there. So we have two extra bucks with antlers here this morning coming around the house. And that's pretty cool. What a great way to Start the day with extra bucks with antlers that have not yet shed. And of course, Fat Boy, aka Milpern, is not shed either. So that's pretty neat. Apologize for the video, it's just barely daylight. But we're seeing some antlers. All right, that's what's great about being in the country right there. Dead calm. Look at the lake out there. It's beautiful. Dead calm. And we can burn our trash. 
zero sugar Dr. Pepper cartons burning up there. We can burn our trash. Doesn't hurt anything, doesn't pollute anything, just out here in the great countryside. And then also right beside the trash burn barrel is our buck family that live here close by the house. These are free roaming deer and yet uh, they're right here. They're all, five of these are bucks right here. Only one still has his antlers and that will be fat boy. And what they're doing, they're waiting here on the feeder to go off and or Jimmy to give them some feed. And uh, aren't they beautiful? They're just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, five of them here waiting around. That might be, that's probably a buck. That's a wild, totally wild deer. That deer does not have a tag, does it or does it? Maybe, it, yeah, it's got a tag. That's a buck, or is it? Tag's in the right ear, so it's probably a buck. <laughs> oh, that's TC right there. TC is getting on up there in the years. That's, uh, what is that? 2113, probably. Lucky number 13. We'll back away from here. Open up the, open up the, uh, Texas Hunter. Get in there and get a little food to throw out. I will just uh, let the video run here. <laughs> How about that, guys. Looky there. Look you there. How close they are. Too. Even old fat boy. We know fat boy around close. And he's totally wild deer. Unless that might be Milburn. It's pretty wild, though. Anyway, Milburn never had a tag in him since he was born in the wild. We don't tag any deer unless they're born in the pens. <laughs> Only the fat boy and all them big antlers on his head. Nobody else has got them. He's got the weapons. Everybody else is disarmed. Kind of like they do in uh, places like Chicago and New York. They take all the weapons they don't allow the honest people to have weapons and the law-abiding citizens and all the criminals got them so the, that's what happens and he's kind of he's kind of like that he's got his weapon all the law-abiding citizens here have had their weapons shed but they'll be going back soon so that's pretty neat though as we uh as we watch lucy's herd i love fires too Look at that lake out there. Is that gorgeous? Is that gorgeous? That's an old, old morel target. Probably had a thousand arrows shot in it. I've got really nice new ones. That one, it just sits there handy. Can shoot off the deck. That way I'm shooting down like you're out of a tree stand or a uh, Texas hunter stand. Uh, uh, uh. All right, everything's great at the Eagle. I want you to take a look at that pretty boy that just showed up while I was here messing around, just waiting around watching. And look at that pretty boy. Now that could be, that's another fat boy. That could be, we've got a, two or three of those. That could actually be Milburn. That deer has no tag. He also has no antlers. He's lost his antlers. So that's a possibility. You know, I looked and all of a sudden I saw him out there and I thought, where'd he come from? You see all the white around his eyes and the white around his nose and he's lost his antlers. And there's fat boy over here who does not have all that white. Where are you fat boy? There he is. He does not have near that much, much white and not near as pretty a white as that boy back there does. Where are you? There you are. And you look how healthy and big and beautiful. He's another fat boy deer. Remember, we had two, possibly three. He's lost his antlers, and he's not tagged. So that could be Milburn. Milburn, come here, buddy. Milburn, come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Are you Milburn? Do you know your name? Is that you, Milburn? How about it, Milburn? Is that you? Are you Lucy's adopted baby? Huh? Are you Lucy? You know you remember Lucy? Are you Lucy's adopted baby? Are you Milburn? Come here, Milburn. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here, Milburn. That could be. That could be Milburn. Because uh, he's got all that white. You're a pretty boy. You're antlerless. Yes, you are, but you're a pretty rascal. 
All right. All right. So we've got six bucks here. And still, Fat Boy is the only one that's got weapons. And you see his hawks are not dark at all, so he's totally out of the rut. Wants to come in here and eat a little bit, and he's up here awfully close to me. I say close. He's at 20 yards. It looks closer than that because I'm zoomed out to nine power. It's just a little spooky. Definitely totally wild deer, but it could be Milburn. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. I'm going to put this video in with Lucy's herd because that could be Lucy's adopted son right there. Big and beautiful without antlers. But I believe he's the one that had a beautiful eight, nine, or ten points. Yeah, slip in there and get a little food, but he's pretty cautious. Stepping out on the other side of the house, we find that we have bucks in the prayer circle. Three of them. Can't tell they're bucks. And as we kind of pan over to the feeder, we find that we have a couple of deer over there. I'm pretty sure those are probably both bucks also, although I see no antlers. Now, there's the deer with all the white around his eyes. It could be Milburn or Ranger. Now, I think that deer I saw right before we left last week to go work for the weekend, taking Chris over to Sherry's. And we think that that very likely, probably he's got a lot better chance of being Milburn, I mean Ranger, than it does Milburn. Might not be either one. Uh, the other deer there is a really big old deer also. That could be Fat Boy without those antlers that was there when we left last week. We'll just have to, we'll just have to look around and see. Uh, I'm not out there close, so I don't really know. I'm zoomed out all the way. Really, really cold, 24 degrees this morning. Snow forecast tomorrow, so we're gonna video a lot today and uh, see what we can get done. Beautiful day today. The calm before the storm. They're talking like maybe an inch and a half of rain tomorrow. Maybe an inch and a half of rain before that rain changes to snow. Now, wouldn't that be cool? And you can see that the deer that was behind the tree has no antlers either. That's TC right there. I don't know that we looked at that deer from the other angle. I think we're getting close to having lots and lots of bald-headed boys. <laughs> kind of like Jimmy is becoming a bald-headed boy. Hey, I can buy me some hair. And the deer will grow back their antlers. Well, let's stroll out here. Let's stroll out right here and see what we got. We've got a lot of deer. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait a minute. One, two. I think seven or eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight deer. <clears throat> we still have antlers. And antlers looks like uh, Fat Boy. That's exactly right. Probably the only actual... I don't know what that is back there taking taking a poop. You got eight deer. You're definitely going to get a deer peeing or pooping, aren't you? <laughs> I think that is a doe. And I believe it's just so hard to tell. And and this deer right here is, is a wild deer. It's lost antlers. No tag, but very, very calm. No, no, it does have a tag. I'm sorry about that. I see a tag now. Hard to see those tags sometimes. But you can look back there and see. Now, I don't see the deer that had a lot of white around its ears. I mean, his eyes. It was here this morning. No, that maybe that's him on back there. And that's a big fat boy buck is what it is. That's the one that is possibly Ranger or could be Milburn. There's no tag in that deer, is there? I can't tell if I... I don't think there's a tag. I'm gonna get up here and throw a little feed and we'll cut them real, really close, up as close as we can. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. All right, let me get up here and get me some feed out of here and throw it. Good morning, everyone. I just heard someone on the television, Oklahoma City Television News Channel, talk about 
showing two interstates coming together in Oklahoma City. And the traffic was low on it. And it's telling and talking about what a beautiful, beautiful day that sight it was to see that interstate with not much traffic on it. And what a beautiful morning and day it is. And I just thought, my golly, you know, and I know that, that, that the individual was sincere when they said that, but this is beautiful. Look at all the ducks. They're moving around out there as I step out and open the door. And by the way, it's 24 degrees this morning at daylight. It's a little after daylight now. The sun's actually up there in the sky just a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, but, 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 it's not too far after daylight. Maybe, oh, I guess maybe it's an hour or two after daylight. I don't know. But it's still calm. It's beautiful. Barely a cloud in the sky. Just kind of little misty clouds around. Seeing a few calm trails from the jets flying back and forth across the country crossing over what they call flyover country here in Oklahoma. No reason to stop here, just fly over, going from the East Coast to the West Coast. And that's all right, we're good with that here in Oklahoma. But that is a beautiful sight out there this morning. So I know that the person on television this morning on Channel 23 <laughs> was sincere when he said, which uh, he, I think it's a lady that said that, I'm not sure. No, I think it's a guy. And uh, he said, uh, gosh, what a beautiful, beautiful sight. And it is because it's a beautiful day in Oklahoma. We have snow forecast. One to three, two to four, three to six. We don't really know. We're kind of right on the borderline between two to four and four to six. We're going to be messing around in the deer pen some today. And uh, probably video on the snow tomorrow. And letting some of y'all enjoy it that don't see snow. Those of you that see snow a lot will probably say, big deal. But can I tell you? It really is a big deal here in Oklahoma. So, as the day goes on today, we'll be looking at the deer. And tomorrow, probably about this time tomorrow, we may be looking at snow starting. Maybe a little bit later in the day. Not too much later in the day. Southern Oklahoma snowstorm. We love it. We love it. It's a treat for us.